so excited to watch A Theory of Everything just because, you know, Stephen Hawking, what an incredible man. You know, we've got the bravery of him just, you know, going through everything that he had to with the motor neuron disease and it just absolutely incredible, you know, uh, just thinking about it now, I'm trying not to like well up at how brave this man was and just his intelligence alone, you know, the theories that he has come up with is just phenomenal. And so I was just very interested in this film and ever since the trailer came out, I was just crying at the trailer. So I was like, I just cannot wait. And so I tried to not go in with too high expectations. And uh, so these are my thoughts, what I came out with. I really did like the aspect of time. The film concentrated on time and it was highlighting how he didn't have it. And I really liked that because, you know, this is a man that was told, you have two years to live. That's it, two years. And here he is today, you know, still going. And it's just such a wonderful story, you know, it's just like this true story of this man just like finding a way to live. Got the aspects of science versus religion because, you know, he is the scientist and uh, his wife was rather religious. So, you know, some really nice conversations of science versus religion. Though this may disappoint some people because it isn't all science. The theory of everything concentrates on his personal life. You know, it's mainly about him and Jane and what an incredible love story. Oh, you know, just again, how brave this couple were to really just power through. And I believe uh, with Felicity Jones and Eddie Redmayne, there really was a wonderful truth in both their performances. I really admire Benedict Cumberbatch's performance of Stephen Hawking in the BBC film that they made, you know, about it was like 10 years ago now. And I really loved his performance and I still do. You know, this film takes nothing away from his version. Uh, so in this one, we've got Eddie Redmayne and it, it's uncanny, absolutely uncanny. I, I was brought to tears. And then you've got Felicity Jones as Jane, his wife. And you know, what I really loved about this film is both characters really just develop throughout. They really work on it and they, they have somewhere to go. And the actors just transform beautifully throughout the years. So really admired this film for just doing wonderful character development. You know, just down to like Redmayne's physical transformation to uh, Jones's emotional struggle just and it really does just make it impossible to turn away from this film. You're glued. And you've got Johan Johansson who's just made this beautiful score who just really it just pushes you to the edge. Those tears along the edge of your eyes ready to go woof. And what fabulous supporting roles. What a, It's just a great ensemble cast this film has. You know, it's got David Thruis, it's got Charlie Cox, it's uh, Maxine Peake and Harry Lloyd. They're all wonderful. The theory of everything is elegant and truly inspiring.